Hello, Driving Intelligence community. I'm at part three of my series on his 2007 Honda Civic. Uh, the owner was complaining, or has been complaining, about uh, a noise coming from the front end. I heard her driving it one day, and I did somewhat isolate it to the front right, but I'm gonna check the other side as well. Um, I suspected the brakes dragging, but uh, I've gotta get a little further into this. As you can see, I've got the wheel off, and that allows me to, uh, to do my investigation. Stay tuned. All right, my first check is to spin the rotor and you can hear a dragging sound. These brakes are dragging pretty dramatically. So uh, it's telling me that probably the, uh, the caliper is not completely releasing and it might have something to do with these pins that the, uh, the calipers ride on. It allows them to float back and forth. But definitely this should be much, I'm, I'm putting some effort into this. It should be a lot easier to rotate this rotor than it is. I'm gonna pull the caliper off. I'm gonna check these pins and see if there's anything else that's causing any obstruction in this braking system relieving itself and allowing the rotor to spin much more freely. I've removed the caliper, making sure it's not gonna fall. And uh, I was able to get the lower pin out pretty easily. The, uh, there was some grease on there. I've started wiping this off, but the upper pin I'm struggling with, and this is what I suspected originally when I heard this thing, that this pin is not floating easily, and it should be floating very easily back and forth. Uh, these things get grimy, dirty. When the brakes are redone, these should always be pulled and cleaned. Um, this may not have been done the last time the brakes were, were done, and this causes premature wear. It can cause a warping of the rotors. So uh, I'm gonna pull this pin, clean out the hole, clean the pin, and uh, make sure that the pin is floating like it should. Both pins removed. Uh, the one with the black piece on the end is the upper pin. Um, that's the one that was sticking. I'm gonna clean these much more thoroughly and I'm also gonna clean the holes that these, uh, these sit in using some brake cleaner. And then I'm gonna keep testing it until I can get smooth operation to make sure that the, uh, the brakes float. There could also be some dirt and dust here these uh, metal metal pieces that hold the uh, the brake pads in place. <clears throat> uh, I need to check those as well, but obviously this one's moving quite nicely. So is this one. So that's probably probably not necessarily what the problem is. The brakes appear to be in good shape. Um, this lower pin uh, moves pretty good. I still need to clean it further. The upper pin, I've put a lot of brake cleaner in there and just articulated this back and forth. It's getting a little looser. There's a pretty good vacuum put on this it's because of the seal. Uh, there should be some air being allowed through with those grooves, but it moves slowly, so I gotta further clean that. Um, I've removed these retainer clips and they are pretty nasty, so they need to be cleaned up and reinstalled. Uh, that also would cause some dragging of the brake pads but the, uh, the pads themselves are actually still in pretty good shape, fortunately, so they haven't burned out because they've been dragging. But it would cause noise and uh, could cause some heating issues with the brakes. All right, so I've done some work. I haven't finished yet, but I found the source of the noise. Listen to that. This dust shield, heat shield, was pushed into the rotor and it's been riding on that rotor for miles and miles. Uh, so, it's obviously, now it's got a hole worn in it. I'm gonna have to, uh, to remove that and see if too much of it's been removed and have to replace it. We'll see what we gotta do. Without taking this off, I was able to bend it back uh, pretty significantly so there's no more dragging on that heat shield. Um, I've actually greased, cleaned and greased these pins. So both of them are floating very nicely now. That should not be a problem anymore. <clears throat> What's left to do is to take this last clip off. I've already cleaned this one. I need to uh, put a little grease on that to make sure that the, uh, the brake pads float on that. Same with that one. And then I can reassemble this brake. Okay, brake is reassembled. Um, much easier to turn. No dragging sounds. Although that probably should be replaced and I'll make that recommendation to the, uh, to the owner but at least the noise will not occur anymore. So this just goes to tell you, this is why you see so much brake fluid being sold in auto parts stores. 
Um, you need to clean these brakes thoroughly, especially these pins. Every brake change, I've found this to be a problem in a lot of cars that I've worked on. If those things aren't clean, the caliper will not float. It'll end up uh, binding on here, and I've even had, uh, on one of my own cars, it got a lot of dirt caught in here um, between brake jobs, and it, and it wore the brake down, the pad down at an angle, and actually destroyed the rotor. I didn't even know it, couldn't hear it. So uh, it's good to, to uh, do some inspection on this from time to time as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time on Driving Intelligence.